Coming up next on This Week in Mizzou Basketball, the Tigers take on Tennessee and Texas A&M. Tremaine Isabel brings his hot shooting hand from the Pacific Northwest to mid-Missouri. And we look back at a double OT thriller from 1997. It's all right now on This Week in Mizzou Basketball. This Week in Mizzou Basketball is brought to you by Shelter Insurance. For your auto, home, and life, find an agent near you at shelterinsurance.com. Bud Light, who reminds fans to stay in the game and drink responsibly. Missouri Orthopedic Institute, we've got your back. Purina Pro Plan, nutrition that performs. And your local Trusted Choice Independent Insurance Agent. Visit trustedchoice.com to find an agent in your area. And welcome back to another episode of This Week in Mizzou Basketball. He's the head coach, Kim Anderson. I'm Ben Arnett. we got a lot to talk about, including a feature on freshman guard Tremaine Isabel. We'll also look back to February 1997 and a great double overtime game against the Kansas Jayhawks. But let's start out, Coach, by uh, talking about your most uh, recent pair of games, Tennessee and Texas A&M. Again, an, uh, another couple of games that I know didn't go the way you wanted, but uh, let's just recap those games a little bit and, and tell me what, what you think your team got out of those two. Yeah, this show gets harder, doesn't it, when you don't win? But, but really, in both games, Ben, I thought we had uh, opportunities to win, uh, but we didn't uh, execute very well uh, in the Tennessee game down the stretch in the A&M game in the second half. Uh, you know, Tennessee, uh, I think we had the lead maybe with five minutes to go uh, and turned the ball over three times and, and uh, uh, really had done a good job against them the whole game as far as their pressure goes. Uh, but then toward the end, they, they nailed us a couple of times and we, we coughed it up and they converted. Uh, in the A&M game, uh, the first half was probably one of the best first halves we've played all year. And the reason it was good was that we did a good job of executing. Uh, we did a good job of, of getting the ball to the right spot for a good shot. Uh, I thought we played with uh, a lot of energy. And we were really, uh, you know, the best term I can use is scrappy defensively. We were back, we were knocking balls away, we were getting some loose balls. And then in the second half, it completely reversed. Uh, they were the uh, aggressor. We were back on our heels. Uh, they put a little more heat on us. Uh, the game got close. We started pressing uh, physically, you know, we started or mentally pressing, and uh, we started taking bad shots or taking shots that we don't normally take. So both games uh, disappointing. Uh, you know, I continue to find good things, but not enough and not enough to win. And what would you like this, this young team to do to be better offensively on a more consistent basis? Well, I think we have to be able to react under pressure. And I think we have to be able to uh, react when adversity strikes. Uh, you know, in the A&M game, we had a seven point lead, maybe as much as a nine or 10 point lead. And then adversity hits. And instead of being able to take the basketball and say, hey, here's what we're gonna do, Sometimes we put our head down and take off and try to drive to the hole and make a play uh, when we're not capable of doing that. So uh, again, uh, you know, we've talked about this all year, uh, young mistakes, and we talk about freshmen are no longer freshmen. You know, they need to be sophomores and juniors now. Uh, you know, the best way to do it, you just got to keep coming out every day and practice and, and, uh, and grinding and uh, try to get better and try to try to regain some confidence. I think that's been a problem for us too. One real bright spot at the Tennessee game was the former player reunion at halftime. I know you got to see a lot of old friends and how nice was that to, uh, as, as they do every year, bring the old players back, let them visit their alma mater and get a chance to, to see each other and talk and uh, revisit old times probably. Well, that's always a great event. Um, you know, I, I hope in the future that we can get even more guys to come back. I know Sometimes it's hard travel and family and everything going on in everybody's lives. But uh, I think we had 40 plus former players back and uh, I got a chance to, uh, to spend some time afterwards. We had a, uh, a reception over at the shack on campus and, and uh, you know, there was, there was uh, 
uh, you know, the interesting thing about me is I know most of them. And, uh, you know, the, even the ones that are a little bit older than me, and then you've got the ones that are younger that I actually, I actually coach. So um, it's always good to see them. It's always good to trade stories. Um, the stories really get a lot better, you know. All the players are a lot better now than they were when they actually played. You know, they, whatever they did was, was, was even more, uh, was even better than it was. You know, if they averaged nine points a game, they probably average around 15 now by the time we get over and we, we finish telling stories. But it's great to, great to hook up with them, great to see um, the, the guys who are a little bit older than me and, and talk about uh, the old times and, and uh, we used to work camp together and stuff. So uh, a great event and uh, you know, one that's always fun. And we can't wrap up this segment without wishing a happy 80th birthday this week to uh, the coach, Norm Stewart. And uh, that's uh, great to see Coach around. He still stops by, comes to practice from time to time. I'm sure you talked to him a lot this year. Yeah, I've, I've talked to him. Uh, he's, uh, uh, you know, he's, he's a guy that, uh, you know, what's good about Coach is he can, he can, he doesn't come around all the time, which is good because that way he, he sees improvement or regression, you know, and, uh, uh, he watches all the games, and, and uh, I know he travels a lot in the in the winter. So, uh, but I, you know, I, I'm uh, I sent him a, I sent him a text uh, on his birthday, and just you know said, hey, I, I really appreciate everything you've done for me and and for Mizzou because he's certainly a, a legend, and uh, you know we look down here in the court, the court bears his name. So, you know, happy birthday to Coach, and and uh, I hope he's doing well and and uh, look forward to seeing him soon. Coach, we'll talk to you a little bit later in the show. Thanks. All right, thanks. Let's take a look at the latest action and the Bud Light highlight. Mizzou returned home from a tough loss to Kentucky and Lexington to host Tennessee, and the Tigers found themselves in a close battle from the start. I like the aggressiveness because it causes action. Look at Clark go. Trying to take on two volunteers. And got to go. Far the zone defense has been a little more passive than active in the half court. Haven't been a lot of hands up. Shamberger to pay that to. There's Williams, great post up position. What a good feed by the freshman getting that top. High low. Nice pass. Ryan knocks down the three behind. Tennessee snared the lead back at halftime thanks to Armani Moore's layup late in the first, but it was only a two-point deficit at halftime. Missouri heated up in the second half, on the way to a tight finish between the Tigers and the Vols. If you're Missouri and Kimmy Anderson, you need to turn up the tempo a little bit defensively somehow, find someone to make some open shots, and then Isabel just inserted one of their better outside shooters to get them going. Need to get him rolling. Just eight points in the game. He had that at the break. Big three from Tremaine Isabel. His second. Yeah. Nice ball movement. Tigers get the basket. They're up three. Tennessee wouldn't wilt on the road. Kevin Punter tied the game with a three-pointer before the Volunteers went back on top for good with just over three minutes to play. Moore just gets up, takes it strong to the basket. What a ball game he's played. Tennessee closed the game out strong as the Tigers struggled down the stretch, and the Vols left Columbia with a 59-51 win. Mizzou hit the road to College Station, Texas to face the Texas A&M Aggies. In a game of runs, Mizzou started fast. Williams stops, pops, got it. Good set for Missouri. Here's Clark, splits the defense. Nice little pass to post. The follow by Williams. Get it on the banking board. It opens up offensive rebound opportunities. After AM ripped off a 7 0 run to take its first lead, Keith Schamberger put Mizzou back in front with a three pointer, and Mizzou kept it up from the outside. Bill Caesar elevates wow. and nails it. Another three by Missouri. They've hit three out of five tonight. Green with five on the shot clock. Taken away. How about Clark? Lays it in, and he's fouled. 
Well, Jordan Green just tried to do too much here. There was nothing there. Great defensive play by Clark to shut off the baseline drive, knock the ball away, and then take it right to the rim, draw the foul from Trocha Morales. Just a tough play from the little guy from Detroit. Another 7-0 run by the Aggies put AM in front. But Mizzou once again stormed back to take a halftime lead. Clark steps into a three. Got it. See if House can convert down the low post. Can't do it. Stripped out of there. Boy, he's frustrated. You can see it in his body language. Clark off the window. Oh, what a big time shot that was. Facts are, hey, facts are facts. Jan Berger with seven. Clark with six. Got it. Mizzou built its biggest lead of the game early in the second half. This Keanu post slam put the Tigers up by six, and they would eventually lead by seven. But the Aggies scored the next 13 points to take control of the game. Tour three, Jones nails it. Timeout taken by Kim Anderson and the Tigers. Texas A&M never looked back as the Tigers struggled to score in the second half, and the Aggies went on to win 62 to 50. This is Matt. We saw him holding a Bud Light, which means he's up for whatever. I'm on a Bud Light, the perfect beer for whatever happens. At Shelter Insurance, we've found that peace of mind offers some real advantages. That's why we work hard to make things easier for you. By sheltering your cars. By sheltering your home. By sheltering your toys. By sheltering your life. Peace of mind. Isn't that the best shelter there is? Shelter Insurance. We're your shield. We're your shelter. The day after the Tigers win, you can get 50% off your regular menu price order by ordering online at papajohns.com with the promo code TIGERSWIN, only at papajohns.com. It's time for the Edward Jones Tiger Cage. And joining us this week in the Edward Jones Tiger Cage is redshirt freshman Hayden Bernard. We're recognizing him for his performance on the court this season, especially uh, Away from the game in practice, you know, your, your, your walk on, and I'm sure that uh, your, your time to shine is on the practice floor. Yes. And uh, what's that experience like, kind of going through all the rigors of the day-to-day -day wear and tear and those, uh, those precious opportunities then to get into the game every once in a while? Yeah, you know, um, when I first had my meeting with Coach A, the first week he got the job, he sat me down, he said, you know, we, we understand your walk on, but, um, you know, I'm going to treat you like you're a scholarship student, like you're, you know, a part of the team, you know, exact, he's going to treat me exactly like everyone else. So, uh, you know, it's it's hard, you know, coming out here knowing that I'm not getting the most playing time out of anyone. But uh, I definitely like appreciate coming out practicing with these top tier players, and you know, it's really fun and I love it. So, what's it like when you get those chances? You've had a couple couple times this year where you've been yeah. able to get into a game. That oh, that must be awesome. thrilling. Oh, it's awesome! It's a dream come true. I've been a Mizzou fan my whole life, like I was telling you. So, 
I mean, it's just a dream come true every time I get to go in. It's such a blessing, so I just love it. We were talking about that off, off air a little bit a minute ago. Yes. You're from Chicago, but Mizzou runs deep in your family. Yes. Tell us about uh, the Bernard family's history with the university. So basically, my, my grandfather, I didn't tell you this, my grandfather was a basketball player at Mizzou in like the 40s or something way long ago. So um, yeah, my parents are alumni. My brother goes or went here. Um, so I mean, I always knew I wanted to be, be a Mizzou player, but I mean, I didn't know if I had the talent or, so when I found out, I got word that I could be a walk-on, you know, I, I was like, hell yeah, I want to be. So yeah, it was, it was a dream come true when I got that offer. Have you learned anything else about your, your grandfather's time here as a Mizzou player since you've been here? Um, not much. I mean, I just know he was a big man. I, I think he was number 42, so that was kind of cool. So you'll wear that in his honor, I'm sure. Yeah, and we, Coach Anderson's <laughs> honor, too. So, <laughs> What's it like to work with him? You're a big man, you're 6'10", and you get a chance to work with a former Big 8 Player of the Year every single day here. I mean, it's awesome. I, I know he's, he's a great coach. He's going to do great things with this program, and you just got to give him time. Uh, well, Hayden, we appreciate your time. Thanks for joining us inside the Edward Jones Tiger Cage. Best of luck to you, and big thanks to Edward Jones, the proud supporter of Mizzou Athletics. Visit edwardjones.com for more on investing and to find a financial advisor near you. And now it's time for the Missouri Orthopedic Institute Player of the Week, and it's Wes Clark for his tremendous game on the road at Texas A&M. The Tigers dropped the contest, but Clark dropped in a career-high 18 points on 7-for-11 shooting, and he also added six assists. A great bounce-back performance for the sophomore from Detroit after he had kind of a rough one against Tennessee. Wes Clark, the Player of the Week from Missouri Orthopedic Institute, we've got your back. This is Sean. We saw him holding a Bud Light, which means he's up for whatever happens. In this case, Jimmy Johnson. I, Jimmy Johnson, challenge you to a little football game. Don't get nervous. Are we ready? I'm ready. Jimmy Johnson has dominated the electric football circuit. Yeah, look at the little Jimmy run. He's hurt. He's pushing through. He's pushing through. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, it's a Bud Light, the perfect beer for whatever happens. If your dog can dream it, Purina Pro Plan can help him achieve it. Purina Pro Plan's bioavailable formulas deliver optimal nutrient absorption. Purina Pro Plan, nutrition that performs. Get any large original or flatbread taco pizza for only $13.99. Casey's, famous for pizza. And welcome back to This Week in Mizzou Basketball. Tiger freshman guard Tremaine Isabel started his high school career in Seattle at the same high school as Bill Gates. And he finished up with a state championship at Garfield High School, the alma mater of former Trailblazers superstar Brandon Roy. And now Isabel is ready to make a name for himself here at Mizzou. Lauren Holman has more. Freshman guard Tremaine Isabel doesn't lack for confidence. This is the same guy who scored 34 points to win a state championship in high school after all, but try moving cross country from Seattle to Missouri. It's kind of been a, it was tough early. You know, it's totally different people, totally different everything. So, you know, it's hard to adjust. But like all young players, Isabel dove into the transition from high school to college basketball. The competition made him better, and now his old confidence is back. I feel like 
a lot of freshmen tend to go through that problem. Just not really sure what my role is, not really sure, you know, kind of just iffy on a lot of things. But now I feel like after, you know, 14 games, 13 games, I kind of, I don't know, feel comfortable out there. And it's starting to show with clutch shots. Up ahead to Isabel for three in the tie. And standout performances, like his career high 14 points against Lipscomb. He has a handle on him. He know where to put the ball. He know where to like get his shot off, create his own shot and everything like that. And like he sees the floor way better than anyone probably on the team. Yeah, I mean, Tremaine is probably our best playmaker. If you just said, hey, go out, get us a basket, and not, we're not going to call a play for you. He's probably that one guy that can go do that. I study the game a lot, so I kind of just really try to learn and understand, like, why something happens. Not just, you know, go do that, but, you know, why do I do that? And, you know, I think that helps me a lot. And, uh, yeah, I guess Coach Forfors noticed, so. The results are coming, and confidence isn't an issue anymore. Next up for Tremaine Isabel, finding his voice. Yeah, he's very quiet. Um, you know, he's definitely a lead by example guy, and that's something. And it's a, it's tough because as a point guard, you've got to be vocal, and so uh, that's been a challenge for us is trying to get him to be vocal. It's a challenge Tremaine accepts. You know, I know that's what the coaches want to see from me. I've been I've just been trying to you know work hard in practice and do the things that I'm going to do in the game in practice. So. I'll be confident in myself while I'm in the game. For this week in Mizzou basketball, I'm Lauren Holman. Thanks, Lauren. Hey, don't forget to help out Coach Kim Anderson for a great cause in the Coaches Charity Challenge. All you have to do is go to ESPN.com infinity and vote for Coach Anderson. You can vote once a day, every day. And if Coach A wins, it means $100,000 for the Boys and Girls Club of Columbia. So vote every single day at ESPN.com infinity. If your dog can dream it, Purina Pro Plan can help him achieve it. Purina Pro Plan's bioavailable formulas deliver optimal nutrient absorption. Purina Pro Plan, nutrition that performs. The Top 25 is brought to you by Shelter Insurance. For a free auto, home, and life insurance protection review, visit your local shelter agent or find us on the web at shelterinsurance.com. We're your shield. We're your shelter.
Anytime Mizzou and Kansas hooked up, the records just didn't matter. And that was never more the case than February 4th, 1997, when a down Missouri team hosted Paul Pierce and number one KU. The Tigers entered the game 11 and 10, but played like champions, forcing overtime twice. Tied at 94 with time running out in the second OT, Corey Tate became the hero by picking up a loose ball at the foul line and rattling home the game-winning shot to give Mizzou a 96 to 94 victory. And we're back to wrap things up with head coach Kim Anderson. Coach, you have back-to-back -back home games coming up. Saturday, a game against Arkansas, 1 p.m. here at Mizzou Arena. It's the whiteout, and that's for coaches versus cancer. Very important for our fans to wear white. Well, it is, and, and, and what a great cause uh, uh, the coaches versus cancer movement has been over the years. Actually, Coach Stewart started uh, the three-point challenge uh, way back, and uh, it's grown to be uh, uh, so big now, and, and we as coaches in NABC have have tried to do our part to uh, raise as much money and as much awareness as we can uh, for that dreadful disease. So uh, uh, Saturday is the whiteout day and we encourage everybody to wear white. I'll have my uh, sneakers on. It's uh, suits and sneakers day for uh, coaches versus cancer. And uh, certainly we'd love to have a big crowd. Uh, it's a one o'clock game. People get a chance to get here and then and, and, uh, get home and, and have a great day. And if you want one of those special whiteout t-shirts, they will be available at the Tiger Team Store. Let's talk a little bit about Arkansas. Coach Mike Anderson, uh, how's it going down there a little bit? And this is his fourth year. Uh, what do you see whenever you, you look at the Razorbacks? Well, I see a team that likes to get the ball up and down the floor and, and uh, a very talented team, a team that shoots the ball well, takes it to the basket. Uh, you know, they play that pressing, maddening full court defense for 40 minutes. and. Uh, a little different game than we've played uh, against other teams. Uh, a, a game where you've got to be able to play at a quicker pace, uh, but you also got to be efficient. You know, you can't turn the ball over 25 times. You're going to turn it over some, but you can't turn it over a lot. And then you got to get back on them and find their shooters and, and try to keep them from getting the ball to the basket. Very good basketball team. Probably the best one he's had, I think. Uh, in his in his four years there, so a big challenge for us. So important to have a huge crowd in this building, 10,000 plus for that Tennessee game last week, and that makes a difference. Oh, it does. You know, um, you know the comment is they always ask me about the attendance, and and I'm grateful for everyone that's here, I, and we appreciate it. Uh, would we like to have more? Yes. You know, if if we perform better, then we'll have more, but. I always counter that by saying, hey, uh, the more people we have in here, the better we perform. So uh, tough game against uh, Kentucky. We all know what happened when we went, when we went down there. And uh, I know our guys will be looking forward to, to uh, get an opportunity to redeem themselves. Coach, thanks and good luck, and we'll see you next week. All right, thanks, man. That's head coach Kim Anderson, and I'm Ben Arnett. For our entire Mizzou Network crew, we say thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week on This Week in Mizzou Basketball. This Week in Mizzou Basketball was brought to you by Shelter Insurance. For your auto, home, and life, find an agent near you at shelterinsurance.com. Bud Light, who reminds fans to stay in the game and drink responsibly. Casey's General Store. Casey's, famous for pizza. Missouri Orthopedic Institute. We've got your back. And your local Trusted Choice independent insurance agent. Visit trustedchoice.com to find an agent in your area.